Hi guys, welcome to iCoding Club. My name is Praveen and today I'm going to talk about the image cropper application. Now image cropper can be done, can be created in different ways or in a different purpose. Now I have created a two image cropper application which I, I will covering in the uh, in this video and the next video. But today I'm going to, co uh, going to cover about the image cropper application which goes as a flexible selection approach. You can see in the right side I have another image cropper application which go for the fixed selection approach. But we may cover this in another video. Today let's move to the, the fixed selection approach. So I just open in another tab. Here we have. Now before I start about the demo part of it, but I want to say about the way image cropper used to work in application. Now in the old days we used to uh, create the image and over it we used to put a particular a rectangle or square, basically HTML div and used to take the coordinates and used to send the server. In the server side, we take the coordinates of the, the rectangle and using that coordinate we used to crop the images. However, with the new HTML5 and HTML5 canvas, we can do all those things in just in client side. Now this particular application has everything in the client side. And you know, I just said nothing I'm sending on the server side. So let's see like how this particular uh, image cropper application work. The way it work is like I just select a particular section and we just click on the crop and I have the cropped image on the right side. For some reason, you know, you can see that I left the right side spaces, you know, some white space on the right side, some on the left side, and you know, the head is not coming properly. So I might want to resize it. So I will go ahead and resize it. As you can see, that I can resize. Yep. And let's, let's, let's. Yeah, it's done. And you can see the all the white spaces on the left and right side is gone. For some reason, I don't know, maybe I want to crop the Steve Jobs article, you know, this particular title. I can do that also and everything you can see in the right side. The great thing is, this is a particular, and this is just a image and I can use it as any other image. I can click open a new tab and I have the, that particular section of it. Uh, cropped image on the new tab. Let's close it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the code and how I've written it. This particular video is just the, uh, you know, the step-by-step -step tutorial of this particular article. You can get the path here. I can just show you that the what we have in this particular page. So yeah, where we have the demo part of it. And this is the video placeholder where I'm going to put this particular video. The code is right here. You can actually copy the whole code or particular section of it. The important comments are in line. And in the bottom, I have the related article. Now you might want to use this related article or not. The first one is just the, uh, the related image cropper, which go for the fixed selection approach, where you have the, the aspect ratio fix. And the second one is very important. You know, in the uh, in the real uh, web application, you might you might want to first upload the image, then crop it, and then you just send the server. Now there is a pre part of it that uploading the image. There is a post part of it where you actually send it to the server. Now this particular app, uh, article actually explain everything. So you might want to go to this particular article to check it out how it work. But this particular video is about the image cropper in flexible selection approach. So let's see, you know, what we have in code. Now in the HTML part is pretty straightforward. We actually create a, you know, a table layout using divs and I just provide the canvas at the top. And there is a button which actually triggered the cropping part of it. And there is a holder, placeholder for cropped image. Now let's move to the JavaScript part of the code. Now in JavaScript part is basically divided into two important parts. The one which take care of the animation on the UI, creating the box, resizing it. And the second part of it, which take the other canvas part of it, which actually export the image out of the canvas. 
Now let's understand the animation part of it because that is a bit tricky here. So the way it work is like we try uh, we try to divide uh, you know the events on the uh, on the canvas in two in the four part. Basically, there is a mouse down, there is a mouse up, which is very clear, and there is a two mouse hover event, which we keep shuffling between uh, each other. The one mouse over event actually I try to identify that are we trying to move our mouse you know are we trying to drag our mouse and you know post clicking it or we're trying to resize the box or not now let's go with the flow of the code and try to understand you know how things work you know the first thing is the mouse down the moment you click the mouse and by that time this particular method get called what we try to fetch is we try to get the location on the canvas this window to canvas take care of that it provides the location on the canvas where we actually click the mouse the first thing first we say to our code that you know someone has clicked on the canvas and we make the click variable uh, true after that there is a part which is you know registering the location of it registering the point of it there is a where um, the on the where uh, the user actually click on the canvas that is the down point x and that is the down point y and it's also the last point x last point y at that particular moment because we just click on it we try to register those points but only when that this resize flag is not enabled so we try to understand uh, this resize uh, variable how it work later on in this code when we move the another important thing what we are trying to do here is we are setting this event which is on mouse move right so what we try to do is we make the click you know the click variable true and on the mouse uh, and we set this particular mouse move event at that time if we keep pressing the mouse and try to drag over the or try to create a sh uh, rectangle shape this particular method would get called what it check is have you click on it or not if you click it what is the location you try to register that and then it redraw the canvas so what we are trying to do here is every time you actually move on the canvas let's see you know I click on it so the point again registered when I'm moving the mouse the mouse move event to get called and the the coordinates keep going uh, keep getting registered at the same time we are actually rebuilding the whole canvas we are trying to redrawing the canvas so you can consider this as uh, you know the old school CRT TV so every time the whole screen got refreshed with the new drawing so everything is the news uh, the new image over the canvas and it keeps us illusion of that we are kind of dragging the uh, the rectangle and then we do the mouse up then this particular event get called let's move to that particular uh, method or event mm. here we have the mouse up when the mouse up happened you can see that I'm delegating the mouse move event to the on image resize why so when the mouse move mouse up happened uh, then you might want to re re uh, resize this particular box the best thing is let's delicate uh, just pass this particular method uh, you know pass the control to this particular method and try to get the clue from this method that a user want to resize the, uh, 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 the, the selection box or you want to create the new uh, selection box how it work is we try to identify that in all the four the boxes what we have on the selection box are they are hovered or not so each if block take care of each uh, hover boxes let's for the timing let's assume that 
uh, the user have not over any of the resize box so all this if will get false and this resize will happen a uh, resize variable become equal to false and let's say user don't want to resize it he just want to recreate the selection box what will happen the user will do the click on the canvas and that particular moment the on mouse down method will be get called and here if you see that resize is not true which is will be true i mean the resize uh, variable equal to false you know which effectively make it true because none of the e block is successful and finally resize equal to false that is the one scenario let's move to the another scenario when actually this if any of the if will be true now how will understand that that how we'll come to know that any of the resize box is hovered or not. Let's go back again to this canvas and try to understand. So if I want to know that how, if user has been uh, hover this particular resize box or not, how will I come to know? Now, if you remember the initial part of the code when I explained this particular point to so the, uh, the down point X and down point Y, and this particular point actually uh, point to the last point X and last point Y. What will be this point? This point will be the something you know from here to here and here to here. Now that is the down point X. I mean, if you just talk with the X coordinate right now, the down point X plus the last point X divided by two because it is the average of this distance and this distance. Similarly, for y coordinate, also it will be, uh, you know, the last point uh, y plus the down point y divided by two, which will say sorry that will point to the y coordinate of this. If you just go back to this particular code, you will understand that I'm doing the same thing. So how I got the center point x and center point y? I got the last point x down point x the i divided by 2 center point y similarly last point y and down point y divided by 2 so this particular coordinate will be the center point x down point y this particular coordinate will be the center point y sorry let's start with the x first x will be the uh, the center point um, Sorry, down point x and the y coordinate will be the center point y. This particular coordinate will be the down point x and center point y. This particular coordinate will be the, the down point uh, x, sorry, center point x and down point y. This is the way we actually try to identify the, all the coordinates and each of the coordinate or each of the rise uh, resize box we try to understand are they are hover or not if they are hovered and we are doing the click also that's mean we are trying to resize it so how will uh, we uh, tackle the resize of it the point is like If I'm hovering over this and I'm clicking also and if I drag what is happening right now is the origin point of Y or the dawn point of Y is getting changed here if you understand you know X is not getting changed here only the Y is getting changed and not the last point uh, Y but the origin point or the down point Y if I try to resize it, what we're changing right now is not the y coordinate. Y is still same. What we're trying to change is this particular point, that is the down, uh, the last point x. If again, if I resize this one, it's again we are not resizing the y coordinate. We're just resizing the down point x. And this is the way we try to find out that. Is user is try is hover on the resize box is his hover over it 
is trying to is it trying to resize that or not this is the way we're trying to understand and all those four methods are to take care of all the animation post that there is a button here which take care of the cropping part of it let's click on the cropping let's see if it's happening oh it's still happening how it work is there is a but there is a button there is a crop button i'm trying to put an event over it so in the crop button when on click happen do the call the crop image let's move the the crop image event to understand you know how we actually cropping the image the cropping image part is depend on this particular section now this is the most important part of this whole method you can understand the rest of the part but this part is to understand this particular method is a bit tricky so what is doing here what we are doing here let's let's move to the the w3 school to understand you know how the draw image work the draw image come into the three overloaded uh, form the draw image which take the image uh, the in the real image on which uh, what we are trying to, uh, to extract and the x y coordinate from where we actually start this we are not using it so let's not talk about this we're also not using this one so let's 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 leave it for timing what we are using is this one now how it work is it take the image the as the first argument you know this is by the image canvas video element the x y this four work together this is the initial coordinate from where we want to draw the image let's 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 move back not to this method but the top to understand from where we actually want to i mean this is the image actually the whole thing is the image which passed as the first argument what we want to do we want to take this part of the image so we want to extract the image from this coordinate to this coordinate the image or the destroy image method asks you know the inform the original image from where you want to start and how long you want to go so i want to start from this position and i want to go this much this much width and this much height let's go back to this particular method to understand is it making sense or not if you see the first one is a mess i say that where i down pointed from where i want to start and the width is the last point x the final point minus the down point x the the difference of it that difference actually come out that the length and width of the selection area after that what i want to do let's move further to understand the, the last four arguments is take you know when i'm the drawing the con uh, the canvas from where i want to start now i extracted the image but i want to do at the top right you know from the the top of the canvas i want to start so i provide the this argument as the 00 because i want to start from the you know the 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 origin point of the canvas and not from you know uh, with some offset value and then the length breadth will be the same what we have previously so we got the the extracted part of the canvas now what to do with that canvas is you do the data uri what is do is is take out the base 64 encoded version of the data and put into this particular variable this is nothing but the data the base 64 encoded version of that binary data of image and we just point to the cropped image source and eventually we get the the image what we have on the right side right so this is the way it work the basic thing is to understand the canvas can be used for the cropping image also and not just to display the image and to understand that uh, this animation part of it that is also a bit tricky post that as i mentioned in starting you might want to go to this uh, the related article so this is all i have to share today uh, thank you for watching this video if you like the tutorial uh, video please click on the like button or subscribe to this channel if you want to uh, leave the message or some comment you are welcome to drop any uh, comment here in this particular box
So yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.